right, so we're back. It's another day. It's uh, Wednesday evening, and we finally got this thing all going good, um, we think. I didn't want to believe it, but uh, as you can see from the previous clip here, uh, we were having a lot of trouble with it on Sunday, not running right, and we had already changed out of the gas and completely drained the tank and everything, and um, pretty much did everything we know on small engines. And uh, so, lo and behold, um, I called Woodland Mills and asked them, you know, told them what was going on, showed them the video and everything. And um, he suggested to go get some ethanol free gas. Because that's the only thing we did different was I drained the tank again, which was brand new gas, and put in some ethanol free. And see, yesterday evening, uh, it started just fine uh, we were able to finish the other ones flip this over um, got to the last thing and then uh, <clears throat> we were trying to tip it and I didn't put a stop on this side and it fell off the bump anyway that was a pain to get back on here this oak is heavy so anyway we're gonna see I haven't started it since yesterday evening um, we're gonna find out if that was part of the problem or not make sure I put the switch on give it some choke one, two, three, four, five. It's really starting to make me think that I got a bad motor. But yesterday it ran great. Well, I don't know. Suggestions are welcome. We've tried everything that they've said. It's a good spark plug. It's getting spark. We've changed out the gas. And like I said yesterday, drained the tank, put the new gas in, fired right up, second pull. And now today it's doing the same thing it was doing. Really hard to start. And then I am assuming that once I get it started, it's probably going to bog down like the other previous clip. But let me see if I can get it started and then we'll go from there. Well, it's time to call Kohler because it's, it's that darn sensor again. Um, in, I think I posted a video last, about it, not a year ago, maybe about five months ago when I was doing the trailer and it was that green wire. You'd unplug that green wire and it started up, then I plugged it back in and it worked for a while. Um, so I thought, okay, whatever, it's fixed. And I only was unplugging the green wire because in the manual, that's what it says to do. So the sensor goes into the shaft there, into the crank. Um, and then up there is the little junction box, whatever that thing is, right there. When I unplug the br black wire, it started right up first pull. If I touch that black wire and try to plug it back in while the motor's running, it starts to die. So I went and got my spark tester and it's not getting spark. So it's something to do with that sensor and I need to call Kohler again. Uh, Woodland Mills said that for the motors, I have to go straight to Kohler. Still got two year warranty and my two years isn't up till July sometime. So I've got a few months left, four or five months. And so I'm gonna call them about that sensor. But for now, I'm just gonna run it without it and just make sure I check the oil every, every time I use it. So let's start over and see if we can get this log finished up. Okay, I think I got it all set up and ready to go. Now, I'm gonna go right along, right about right here, because I wanna see if I can get one or two one by fours before I get to down here. Um, Cause I got this good section right about right here and that I can use for my um, picture frames that I wanna make. Um, you know, I won't be able, this is actually the low spot on this side, but I only need a few feet. So if I can just get one or two one by fours out of it it'll be great not sure if it's going to work out because of these cracks that are starting already but we'll see
plate already. Oh, from all the messing up the window. So as you'll see right here, I definitely need some help uh, with standing these up on end. Maybe if I get two 2x4s two to clamp them in there better, um, they leaned right here pretty bad. But you know, table saw will cure that and uh, they'll be straightened up and great for what I need them for anyway. Good six feet down there. It's split. Cut them off right there. That'll make good hooks of frames when they dry. Okay, three full ones here out of that. So there we go. 